What's your name again? I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see. Common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker. Common woodpecker. Common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. <laughs> Imagine that, a common woodpecker trying to eat a shave Ali. Hmm. My money! <laughs> so I'm not rich enough, huh? Wow, did you see that? I say, is that who I think it is? Oh, yes, it's Lord Crinkle. You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player. The famous rich polo player. Rich, get in! Yumping Yiminy, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player. <laughs> Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a mix of tea. Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Over here, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Where? Where? Who is this? Now, now stay still, whoever you are. <laughs> Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? <laughs> Look at this filth. Now clean that fork. I think it's clean now, Duke. <laughs> Still dirty. I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen! The Queen? The Queen! <gasps> Here comes the Queen! Oh, royalty! Big money! Ooh, the Queen! <laughs> Welcome to Shave Oli, Your Majesty. Oh, you may kiss my hand. <laughs> now you may kiss the royal foot. <laughs> Ah! You, sir, should be grateful that 
you are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... Knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, you woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> hey, dub you, Sir Freeloader. Hey, <laughs> dub you, Sir Moot. Hey, <laughs> dub you, Sir Loop. I dub you, Sir Slacker! <laughs> and now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on Channel 1 and ends on Channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! <laughs> Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious like. Don't have to open, don't have to open, don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand. 
But, Captain, sir... isn't my neighbor, the Moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump. Uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. By Yiminy. Ooh. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, A forgot. It must have slipped my mind. Yeah! That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. Yeah! Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, and if they see all my food, they think I'm rich for sure. I love a good game of hide and seek. Hello. Uh, can I help? I'm from the Internal Food Revenue Service. Internal Food Revenue Service? Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Ooh, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? Hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I've nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Lil Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. <laughs> I knew it! Hard Sicilian salami! But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. E no, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Ah, oh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. 
And that would leave you with... Prison food! No! Anything but that! I confess, I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. That completes your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? Right. IRS, Mr. Walrus, it has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? That leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in. Meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. <laughs> oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Nice warm smell of fire. No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no, oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... <laughs> 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 